Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? Just getting to the shop here. Broke this. I'm gonna do a couple little things here. I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm getting a quote done to get the driveway, not the driveway, but the front part here. Get this all asphalted. Get it all fixed up. Because they had to dig. They had to dig up when we uh, built the place and they passed the, the gas through. Yeah, again, this uh, all asphalted, all fixed up, so it's nice here. If we're going to build a new shop out back, I'll rent the front part here. We'll rent it all up. Get it done right up to the end here, up to the fence line. We've never used this part here to put anything in there, but you never know if you rent it out. It's better to have more, more possibilities. That way you have a, a bigger clientele that can come here. And then all the way down... Because you can see where they dug it up here. Everywhere is here. That's where they dug it up to get the gas lines and hook up the water lines. So I go all the way into the corners, every corner, and finish it right here at the fence. I never asked to see how much this would be out back. How much that could possibly cost to have that done. Just picked up a few things. Picked up some chainsaw oil. Picked up another, this thing here that we broke. This is for, you know, when we go on somebody's lawn and we make a mark because some people get a little crazy when you make a mark on their lawn. So we picked up this, this thing. I think it's got a, either fiberglass or something like that handle. Because we had the wood handle and it broke. See, it's right here. So I'll just put this back in, bring it up to the house. I'll keep it at the house. Picked up one of these. I had one, but I think, I don't know if one of the employees borrowed it. Somebody borrowed it. It's not something to use very often, but once in a while we use it. We use it to cut some of the grass out back there. All right. Yeah, so uh, the guy just came. Said we had 4,000 square feet in the front. About 360 uh, meters, something like that. I go, how much do you think it's gonna be? He goes, it's gonna probably be around $20,000. I go, send me a quote. We'll see what, uh, what it says. We'll see what, uh, what we can do. Yeah, so uh, got that done. We picked up, I picked up some oil for the chainsaw, chainsaw oil while I was up at the still store. A couple little things we picked up, nothing special. Everything looking good on the counters, everything's pretty clean. Got a few chains to do. Most of the chains here are done. Counter looks good. I guess we'll dump this out for Sebastian. Comes back in four months. Don't want the same water in it. So the cars are put away, so next week We'll start, we're gonna put the winter wheels just because we have to send all the trucks to inspection. Throw all the winter wheels up on it. Do all the oil changes. Shine all the trucks, polish them up. Clean the lights like usual. Polish the lights. This one here is a little bit yellow. We'll polish that up. The lights look pretty good though. Do some paint on the trucks. Paint everything that's worn out. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Still will clean them up. I don't think, I don't know if any of the windshields are broken. I know this one has a crack in it, but I don't know if it's worth it to change it. It's way up here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Well, we're pulling the seats out. The seats that are ripped. 
sending those off to get fixed like this one here fix this little spot here you see there's a little bit of rust right there we'll fix that up this door here I'm gonna fix up we'll leave that open these tarps they put them all the way wet that's not good the wet tarps make everything rust Chipper went really well this year. We'll send that to get that oil change in that and everything all ready for next year. I don't know how many hours we're up to. 740. 740 hours, that's good. So we got rid of some of the ladders that we had, some of the employees. We told them take whatever you guys want because we don't use them anymore. They're kind of a rough shape. So we said if any of you, some of the guys do hedges on the weekend. Yeah, some of the guys do some of the edges on the weekend. Ow! So I said, anybody need one? Just take whatever you need. We don't need them anymore. You guys use whatever you want. Especially you guys do a little bit of hedge work on the weekend, make some extra money. You can help them out a bit. They help us out, you know, like they say. You're only as good as your employees. Man, why won't that? Ah, oh, the bolt is broken. Look at the end of that. It's square. Let me look, see if I have any more. I'll look here in my, my little bin. See if we have any in here. There we go, one right here. Let's put that one in. Perfecto! That's done. Put the tools back. We'll check the batteries. These are all charged. Put those on the charger. All right, let's put this away. Well, we got this, we'll put this away. Well, how come we have an extra one of these? We'll put it right there. Notice, I keep a lot of spares. See, I got a spare motor for the boom trucks in case one of the hydraulic booms would uh, let go. We got a spare motor here and we keep one in the van in case one would break in the van. Got a new battery sitting right there. Got all kinds of, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big guy when it comes to keeping spare parts around. Like you guys know, I like to keep a lot of this stuff around double in case something would break. So you don't have to wait if you get a breakdown and you don't have the stuff that you need. It could be in big trouble. You know, it's like... These things, we go through a lot of them, so you keep a lot of them on hand, you know. Another thing that we use a lot of is these wing nuts. We go through a lot of those, so you keep them in stock, you keep your filters, you keep your spark plugs, your cranks, the chains. 
Just keep a lot of stuff around, machines. All the guys' machines. You know, you guys have seen how we have our setup for our chains, for every chainsaw. They each have their own little place for their chains. If you guys are thinking of starting a business like ours, doing head trimming and that, you guys can always watch these videos and I like showing you guys what, how we do it and what we use. See these here, these are old step ladders so they're no good anymore, we don't use them. We got some new ladders sitting here just in case if one of the ladders doesn't go well. Those step ladders sitting there in the corner have been sitting there probably for five years. We got new ones. Every uh, step ladders, every season we change them. The big ones, no, because we don't use them that often. We use a lot of the times the Apple step ladders. Brand new tires sitting right there. Those are going to be going on the, the F-150. The tires are three years old on the F-150 on the 2020 F-150. So we're going to be putting new tires on that one. These tires here are still going to be good for another season. Tires usually last two to three seasons on the trucks. This truck here, I'm going to be putting new wheels, new tires. Like this one here, we put new tires on the front this year. On the other van too. Yeah, these tires here have three seasons. They're pretty well done. So we'll be putting new ones on that. We'll be sending that off to get done. New ones on this one. If you guys remember last year when we finished the season, the dump truck, we put new tires on it. Six new tires cost $5,000 here. We went through inspection and they said one of the tires didn't have enough thread on it. And they go, so in the winter you have to have enough thread. I go, yeah, but we, go, we don't work in the winter. As you guys all know, me in the winter, we close up and we head where it's a little bit warmer. We like the warmer weather. We lived all these years with the cold. I think I'm going to take this battery charger here and I'm going to put it up on the wall somewhere. Get it off the counter, give us some more room. Got a 441 here. Won't start. So I'll take a look at that on the next week. Once we start doing our maintenance, we got our bulletin board with all our stuff. So we got some extra shovels, extra rakes. Like I said, I like to keep extras of everything. It's just the way I am. That way you have stuff around. You'll never have a, when you get a breakdown, you'll never be running out of parts. You just have them already in stock. The way to do it. I'm gonna look through, go through all the ladders, all the step ladders, see what's still good and what's in rough shape. Whatever's in rough shape, we'll just get rid of. It's a pain in the uh, pain in the rear end, I guess. I almost said the other word. It's a pain when you're using ladders and stuff, and they're not working well. You know, you got them out extended all the way, and then they won't come back in because. Something's not working right. It's no fun. Oh, what's going on there? I see some water on the ground over there. Let's go see what's going on. Is it just a power washer? Oh, I was supposed to bring this to still. Forgot about bringing that. Okay, it's just a power washer that's there. All the jackets are hung back up. I told the guys hang the jackets up so when we start back in the end of March, Everything will be where it goes. All right, so that's just a little quick walk around, a quick video of what's going on. Very warm day today. Unusually warm today. Today's a Saturday. So that's why they said they, they just had called me out of the blue and said, well, come give you your quote for your, your asphalt. Yeah, 4,000 square feet. He says it's going to be around $20,000. I don't know how much it is where you are, and they're not even going to dig down that far. 
said they're only going to take off about six inches. You can't really dig down much because you got all the water and the gas lines and stuff there. All right, antenna still there, hasn't moved yet. See you guys in the next one. See you, le See you guys.